I am here today with Trent. Uh, Trent is one of my good friends. Uh, we go way back, but uh, been coaching him here for the last few months, and and he's gotten some awesome results as far as uh, putting on muscle and, and transforming his body. So Trent, why don't you start off by telling us a little bit about yourself, um, who you are, where you're from, what you do. Sure. Yeah. So uh, again, I'm Trent. I've known Luke a long time, a uh, good friend since about fourth grade, I guess. And so um, it's been great to have someone who I know I can like trust to work with and who I've known for so long. Um, and so I live in St. Louis now. Um, I'm a postdoc in engineering. So I work on uh, antibiotic tolerance. And uh, I've kind of done a lot of research in like the areas of like cardiovascular disease and uh, things like that too. So definitely a fitness hobbyist too, as far as like what I like to study. Um, and let's see. Yeah, you know, like fitness wise, I've always just been like a lifelong runner. I've probably been doing it since I was like 11. Um, and so, yeah, like part of what um, got me into this is just like, you know, I'm 32 now. And so running for 20 years, no matter how careful you are, starts to get a bit tricky, takes a toll on your body. So, yeah, it's always good to get strength training in. Yeah, t tell us a little bit more. Obviously, you're a runner and, and talk a little bit about, you know, kind of where you were kind of before starting the, the program and some of your reasons for kind of kind of wanting to make the changes. Sure. Yeah. So I think, you know, three or four years ago, I was doing really great in running, um, you know, setting lots of PRs. I, I, like probably my favorite stuff to do is kind of the mile, the 5K type distances, the, the sort of fast stuff. Um, and then I just kind of gradually came down with this series of like, you know, back and hip problems. Um, and like for a while, I was like kind of barely able to run, not really able to do what I want. Um, got a hip surgery and I probably had like, you know, three years in a row where uh, I was just getting a lot of PT, just not quite able to get back to it and uh, a little bit frustrated with things. Yeah, I'm sure it's definitely frustrating when, when you're hurt all the time. So you know, obviously, you know, you reach out, kind of talk about, you know, kind of what made you reach out, what were your goals and, you know, maybe any, any hesitations that you maybe originally had about, you know, joining the program and why you ultimately decided to join. Yeah, let's see. So I guess, you know, number one, just knowing you like, and trusting that you know what you're doing as far as someone who could really help me with strength training and who's a, who's a real expert. Um, and yeah, I guess uh, I kind of had the sense that um, I just, I had been like weighing myself and I was like definitely just like lighter and thinner than I had wanted to be. And, um, you know, maybe as a runner, like it's okay to be that thin if you're like in really great marathon or shape, but I wanted to do like the faster, shorter stuff. And I was like, any way you slice it, it would be great for me to put on, you know, 10 pounds of muscle or so and there's like no way that wouldn't be good for me and so um I didn't really have a lot of experience with like I had some experience with like lifting um and I've been doing that during like the better parts of my running career but not really at all in like actually putting on weight um and so that's where like I felt sort of out of element and I knew like someone like you could really help me awesome awesome and we're glad you did so you know, ultimately, you know, decided to join our program, you know, talk about what, like kind of the program itself, like what are kind of some of the things like you feel like you've benefited most from the program or maybe even some of the, the biggest value maybe you've gotten that you didn't even expect. Right. So, yeah, I mean, the key parts are just um, the being able to dial in the nutrition. And so, you know, I, I've done like a lot of research on like obesity and um like heart disease and stuff. And so I read about like the latest uh, weight loss interventions all the time and what people are trying at group level, but like I never really appreciated how successful you could be and how like scientific you could be when you like really individualize things. And so like, it, it is like amazing. Like, you know, we kind of dialed in like, okay, if I eat this many calories a day, um, I weight stable, okay, we need to eat maybe two or 300 more calories a day. Okay. It's going up slightly. Perfect. Um, and then like, there were some times where I was like 
a little bit less physically active, maybe getting a little bit too fast, we tone it down a bit. And so it's, it's like pretty amazing on the individual level how tightly you can control things. Um, and so like learning how to like keep track of food uh, and just like watch the weight was really helpful. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and yeah, I mean, Trent is clearly kind of, kind of shot off in our program and, and his uh, pictures. Uh, we obviously don't have him right here, but his, his before and after, pic after pictures, you know, show the whole story too of, uh, of his results. So why don't you take us through like, you know, what are, what are the specific results that you've gotten in the program? Yeah. So like the, the two highlight ones that, uh, where I like definitely want that we're going for from the start where I like putting on about, uh, 10 pounds of muscle. And so, um, you know, the, I think we, you know, did it pretty slowly and gradually, which meant that like most of what I was gaining at any given point was, you know, probably at least 80% muscle, 20% fat. I know like sometimes it might be effective to sort of like overshoot things and come back, which we did that too. But, um, I never felt like I really like put on that much fat at any point so that was good um yeah so like in the matter of about five months put on 10 pounds of muscle awesome and then the other big one you know just since i was going for like a lot more lower body strength um just like the circumference of my quads i measured was like 20 percent bigger so you know that's that's a ton um and then also you know some some gains to just in upper body and and then uh, the strength, of course. So um, I didn't really have much to like, compare it to as far as like previously, I'd always done like pretty safe, pretty chill lifting, like, you know, never under 10 reps. Um, but, you know, you had me do a lot more like max stuff. And I set some nice like deadlift and squat PR, which was really fun. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know, got a lot stronger, a lot more muscle as well. And, and overall, uh, definitely, definitely did well. So, um, what would you say to, you know, obviously you've gotten good results with the program. I mean, what would you say to someone who's maybe in your shoes or maybe been thinking about it for a while, kind of on the fence about joining the program? Like, what would you say to that person? Right. Um, I just say like, uh, don't underestimate the value of like coaching. Like that, that's another thing that I've really gotten out of it. Um, just, uh, being able to have someone who's like an expert and that you can trust guide you through these things is going to make you do like way better than you could probably do on your own. Um, and you know, it's your health and it's your fitness goals. And so there, there are very few things that are that, uh, more important than that. Uh, so it's worth it. Um, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Trent, uh, thanks so much for your time and and yeah, glad to hear you've gotten such great results. Absolutely.